<laughs> wow, yay! I am so glad we spent job complete. <laughs> The film begins with Bowser's ship docking in front of the Penguin Kingdom's King's Palace. Then Bowser warns the penguins to come out or perish, to which they respond by fighting him with snowballs. They accidentally kill one man with a catapult and an ice block. The Penguin King then tells Bowser, that is just a taste of our fury, and asks if they would surrender. Bowser chuckles and declares that he does not surrender. He commands his henchmen, Comic, to use his magic to teleport them away from the location. Bowser proceeds to set the palace ablaze, while Comic utilizes his powers to construct a staircase for Bowser. As Bowser ascends the stairs, he strikes a block, unveiling a superstar. With a triumphant tone, Bowser proclaims that no one can stand in his way now. In the next scene, Mario and Luigi are seated in a pizza parlor called Punch-Out Pizza, watching their plumbing ad that they had invested all their money in. Meanwhile, their former boss, Foreman Spike, appears and begins to mock them. Spike holds a grudge against them for leaving his company to start their own plumbing firm. He laughs, taunting them, and suggests that they probably haven't even received a single phone call. Spike goes further, referring to them as the stupid Mario brothers, and attempts to throw his napkin at Luigi's face. However, Mario quickly intercepts the napkin, defending himself and his brother. Just then, they receive a call from a couple in Brooklyn who are in need of a plumber. However, when they try to start their car, it doesn't work, so they decide to walk through a construction site. Upon reaching the destination, they encounter the couple's dog, Francis, who initially takes a liking to them but becomes unfriendly after Luigi accidentally steps on Francis' bone. As a result, they proceed to fix the leak in the house, only to face a confrontation with Francis, who fights them and damages the faucet. When they return home, their own family even mocks them. On the contrary, their mother supports them. When Mario inquires about his father's opinion, he receives a harsh response, being called crazy and told that the worst part is he's dragging your brother down with you. Upset, Mario leaves the table and heads to his room to play Kid Icarus on his NES. Shortly after, Luigi enters the room and consoles Mario, assuring him that he is not responsible for his brother's troubles. Meanwhile, while watching the news, Mario and Luigi learn about a problem with the Brooklyn water main. Motivated to take action, they decide to address the issue themselves. Venturing into the sewers, they inadvertently stumble upon a concealed section and come across a warp pipe. Curiosity gets the better of Luigi, who enters the pipe and gets pulled inside. Determined to rescue his brother, Mario follows suit and enters the warp pipe. After being pulled into the warp zone, Mario finds himself in the Mushroom Kingdom, where he comes across Toad. Mario describes the circumstances of their separation, and Toad speculates that Luigi may have been sent to the Darklands, a region ruled by Bowser. Toad assures Mario that Princess Peach, the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, will be able to help them reunite, so they decide to search for her. Meanwhile, in the Darklands, Luigi realizes that Mario is nowhere to be found. As he tries to make sense of the situation, he is chased by dry bones. Desperate to escape, Luigi seeks refuge by entering a nearby castle and quickly shutting the door behind him. However, his respite is short-lived as he is suddenly cornered by a group of shy guys, who apprehend him. In the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario and Toad embark on a journey, traversing various regions until they finally reach Peach's castle. As they approach the grand entrance, the guards inform them that Princess Peach is not present, uttering the familiar phrase, your princess is in another castle. However, Toad manages to win the guards over by preparing some food for them, and they grant Mario entry into the castle. Inside the castle, one of Peach's councilmen informs her in her royal chamber about Bowser's imminent arrival in the Mushroom Kingdom. However, 
Peach reveals her plan to establish an alliance with the Kong army from the Jungle Kingdom. Determined to protect her kingdom, Peach emerges from her chamber and encounters Mario, who is surprised to see a human in the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario shares with Peach that his brother Luigi is currently in the Darklands, prompting Peach to reveal her plan of heading to the Jungle Kingdom to forge an alliance that can help them defeat Bowser. Realizing their mutual goals, Mario and Peach decide to join forces. Peach offers Mario the opportunity to accompany her on their quest, but she challenges him to complete a practice course first. Mario attempts the course multiple times and gets incredibly close to finishing it, only to be thwarted by an obstacle. Despite his inability to complete the course, Peach decides to let him join her, reassuring him that her success was due to her familiarity with the Jungle Kingdom from growing up there. Meanwhile, in the Darklands, Luigi finds himself riding in a hot air balloon en route to Bowser's castle. At Bowser's castle, Bowser breaks into a song expressing his desire to marry Peach and conquer the world together. However, his song is interrupted by Kamek, who delivers the news that Mario and Peach are en route to the Jungle Kingdom to establish an alliance. Bowser perceives Mario as a romantic rival for Peach's affections, intensifying his determination to thwart their plans. Meanwhile, Mario and Peach continue their journey and eventually reach the Fire Flower Field. Along the way, they have traversed the challenging Bamo MB battlefield, the arid desert kingdom, and even ventured through Yoshi's Island. As they arrive at the vibrant Fire Flower Field, Peach activates the power of a fire blossom, using it to start a cozy campfire in the midst of the flowers. Meanwhile, Bowser is informed that the Koopa have captured Luigi and have brought him before him. Bowser summons Luigi, intending to interrogate him about his presence in the Darklands. Luigi initially hesitates to reveal Mario as his brother when questioned by Bowser, but when Bowser becomes increasingly agitated, Luigi finally admits the truth. Bowser then asks Luigi if princesses find Mario attractive, to which Luigi cheekily responds that only those with excellent taste would see Mario's beauty. Meanwhile, Mario, Peach, and Toad reach the Jungle Kingdom and are given a tour around the city before eventually arriving at Cranky Kong's palace. However, Cranky Kong refuses to form an alliance. In response, Mario informs Cranky Kong that they won't leave without the Kong army's support. Cranky Kong proposes a deal to Mario, if Mario can defeat his son in a wrestling match in the Great Ring of Kong, Cranky Kong will offer Mario the Kong army as an ally. Although Peach expresses concern and believes that participating in the wrestling match with Donkey Kong is a bad idea, Mario remains determined. The match commences and proves to be challenging at first. However, Mario recalls the lessons Peach taught him about the power-ups and their potential. During the match, Mario stumbles upon a mushroom, believing it to be the Super Mushroom. However, upon consuming it, he realizes it is actually a small mushroom, causing him to shrink in size. Undeterred, Mario continues the fight and attempts to use the Fire Flower power-up, only for Donkey Kong to blow it out, rendering it useless. However, Mario perseveres and eventually manages to obtain the Cat Bell power-up. With newfound abilities, he overcomes Donkey Kong and emerges victorious. Peach expresses her admiration for Mario's determination and resilience, noting that he never gave up despite the challenges he faced. Cranky Kong proposes that they make their return journey via Rainbow Road, a famous interdimensional pathway. However, Bowser becomes aware of their plan and orders his army to intercept and halt their progress. As Mario and Donkey Kong engage in a fierce battle, they are eventually thrown off the track and find themselves inside the colossal body of a sea beast. Meanwhile, the Kong army faces defeat, leaving only Peach and Toad standing. In a moment of leadership, Peach instructs everyone to flee and takes it upon herself to confront Bowser directly. When Bowser arrives and makes a proposal of marriage to Peach, she vehemently rejects him, stating that she will never marry him. 
Enraged by her refusal, Bowser commands Kamek to use his powers to torment Toad, and to Peach's dismay, Kamek willingly complies with Bowser's orders. After Mario and Donkey Kong manage to escape the sea beast using a rocket from DK's cart, Toad presents Peach with a bouquet of flowers. With determination in her eyes, Peach approaches Bowser, only to discover a group of captives held in a cage suspended above a perilous lake of lava. Bowser reveals his intention to sacrifice the hostages in Peach's honor. However, just as Kamek is about to commence the wedding ceremony, Peach takes swift action. She knocks out Kamek and reveals an ice flower hidden within her bouquet. Activating the power of the ice flower, Peach freezes Bowser, preventing him from carrying out his malevolent plans and saving the captives from being lowered into the dangerous lava below. In their heroic efforts, Mario and Donkey Kong successfully complete their mission and rescue Luigi from captivity. However, their triumph is short-lived as Bowser, filled with rage and desperation, orders the launch of a destructive boomer bill to obliterate the Mushroom Kingdom. Thinking quickly, Mario manages to lure the boomer bill into a warp pipe using a super leaf, preventing the catastrophic attack and saving their homeland from destruction. However, during the chaos, an unexpected event occurs, causing everyone to be pulled into Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, Mario engages in a brief skirmish with Bowser, but he realizes that this may be his toughest challenge yet. Doubts begin to creep into his mind. However, witnessing the injuries sustained by his friends and seeing his advertisement for Punch-Out Pizza on television, Mario finds the courage and determination to confront Bowser once more. With newfound resolve, Mario prepares himself for the final showdown with Bowser, knowing that he must give it his all to protect his friends and restore peace to the Mushroom Kingdom. In a daring move, Mario attempts to grab the superstar from Bowser, but Bowser counters with his fiery breath, halting Mario's progress. With Luigi's intervention, Mario and Luigi press on, determined to seize the superstar. Although it initially appears that they were engulfed by the flames, it is revealed that they managed to activate the superstar at the very last moment, granting them temporary invincibility. Empowered by the superstar, they continue their battle against Bowser, ultimately defeating him. As the dust settles, Mario and Luigi are celebrated as heroes by their family, Foreman Spike, and even Francis. Bowser, on the other hand, is dealt with using a micro mushroom, which shrinks him down and traps him in a bottle. In the end, it is revealed that Mario and Luigi have decided to relocate to the Mushroom Kingdom, their new home. Embracing their new life, they continue their adventures and defend their beloved kingdom alongside their friends and allies.